taking over the world one nerd at a time. Total Nerd Takeover. Hello, Chris Gray here from TNRT.com, and today I want to be talking about a new case I got for my iPhone 5S. It is the LifeProof Fray case. Now, I usually put my iPhone 5S, I usually put my iPhone 5S in a Griffin Survivor case, which if you've seen a previous video, you saw me do an unboxing video um, for that particular case. It's a very rugged, rubberized case. The only problem with that case is it doesn't work with the fingerprint sensor it's on the iPhone 5S, which has become a real hindrance because I love to use my, um, my fingerprint sensor instead of having to put in the password all the time. So I wanted to find a case that would uh, protect me from snow, from rain, from dust. It doesn't have to be waterproof, but you know, protecting me from rain and being water resistant is a plus. And the only case that I found that seems to live up to those expectations, or at least what it says on the box, is the LifeProof Fray case. And this is the case that we're going to be unboxing and putting on my phone. And it is compatible with the fingerprint sensor. So let's unbox this case and see what it looks like and see how good it works with the fingerprint sensor. Okay, here we are with the LifeProof Freya case. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's F-R-E. Now, this particular case is compatible with the iPhone 5S, which is why I purchased it. I wanted to get a rugged case that would survive the elements in my terrible outdoor job and be able to offer the um, functionality of my fingerprint Touch ID because that is the one thing I love most about my iPhone 5S is the Touch ID. It comes in such, it's such, it's such a handy thing to have. So, a little bit about this particular case. It retails for $80. I got it from Amazon for $80, $79.99, which is $80, not including you know tax and all that stuff. It says, um, from LifeProof, that it is waterproof, fully submersible, up to 6.6 .6 feet or two meters for an hour. It also comes in a different range of colors, um, black, cyan, red, um, blue, white, and yellow. It is dirt proof, totally sealed from dirt and dust. It is snow proof, completely closed to snow and ice. It is drop proof. It has survived drops up to 6.6 .6 feet or two meters. It has built in scratch protection, which delivers complete touchscreen protection. So that's a little bit about the life proof fray case. Let's open it up and throw my iPhone 5S inside. Okay, here we go. We have the actual case right here. Some cardboard holding it in. Down here we have the headphone connector because once this thing is waterproof, you won't be able to get to the headphone really easy. So what this does is it goes into the 3.5 millimeter jack and it's threaded so it screws in and it creates a watertight seal and it's a little extension that gives you a regular 3.5 millimeter connection. Although I don't know who would use this for underwater anyway. It definitely makes sense if you want to plug in, but if you wanted to go underwater, headphones aren't waterproof, at least most of them. Like I know that mine wouldn't be, but there you have it anyway. You can make this end waterproof, which will protect the phone. So I'm just gonna move this over here. All right, let's take the case out and it comes in pieces. This is the top. Here's the inside. Nice little cardboard picture of an iPhone, that's cute. Program Touch ID. Okay, there you go. It's telling you that you want to program your Touch ID on your iPhone um, before you put all this together. 
It comes with a nice little microfiber cloth. I love that. I love having, I, I use microfiber cloths for everything all the time. So I'm gonna open that right up now because we're gonna use that. We have a little booklet, which is probably the instructions on how to do this, how to put it together, how to test it. It tells you about, it has a, um, an O-ring and a seal. That's fantastic. There you go, that's the little manual. Whatever, don't care about that. So here is the back of the LifeProof case. It's actually very, very thin. Now they recommend that you maybe put a piece of um, tissue paper inside, close it up, um, put a little bit of weight on it to keep it, you know, to make it have that nice seal, and then submerse it under water to test it to see if it leaks. I'm not going to be submersing my phone underwater. This is mostly for some dust and uh, and some 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 dirt at work. I'm not really worried about it being waterproof. As long as it's resistant to the rain when I'm at work, that's fine. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to start with the front. Roll it over this way, like that. Now I'm going to take this microfiber cloth that they've provided, and I'm just going to wipe the inside, because I do not, and I cannot stand when there's dust or any kind of, anything like a piece of hair on the front panel of my screen. It would drive me crazy. Okay, now I'm going to take my iPhone 5S, and I'm going to wipe the front of it real nice, nice and clean. Here we go. I'm going to put it in. Just like that. Now, just so you know, there is a screw down here on the bottom for the 3.5 millimeter jack. So when I put the phone in, I put it in bottom first and tilted to the right where the uh, volume rockers are and the silent switch, and then pushed it in the rest of the way to the left. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna take a look at the front of the screen to make sure I didn't. I don't have any dust behind the phone. Okay, I don't see any dust, so that's good. All right. Now I'm going to take the microfiber cloth again, and I'm gonna wipe the back here real quick because I don't want any scratching to occur when it is in the case, because it's a very tight fit. Nice wipe here. This is the back part. You can see this is where that, that O-ring is. It's gonna take a moment to wipe that. Making sure that this lock is up, which is what protects your lightning connector. Feeling the grooves. Making sure if I can feel the grooves here. And you can hear the snap as I lock it in to place. Nice, tight fit. This has to be the thinnest, most protective phone cover case I've ever seen. Now my wife has a uh, life-proof case for her iPhone 5, which is very similar. But I feel like they did a really good job because my my wife's iPhone, you can feel like a bump back here. It feels like there's some air gaps. I don't really feel that so much with this case. It feels nice and tight. I'm really liking the way this feels. Okay, so now we're going to put this on here. This is the uh, the cover I mentioned earlier that protects your lightning cable. And now here's a piece of plastic that says pull. And now I should be able to use the fingerprint scanner. But before I do, before I can use the Touch ID, I want to show you. So here's the volume up, volume down. Here's your, your, uh, your silent switch, which feels a little tight, but it works. Your lock button on the top. And on the bottom, where your headphone jack is, there is this little nub here that unscrews. And that's part of how they keep it watertight, or airtight, or waterproof, or dustproof. Oh, look at that. That's a new feature that my wife doesn't have. It actually holds this screw piece on with a piece of plastic. Look at that. So now when you want to use a headphone jack, because that may be too deep 
you can't really tell the depth, but it's very, very deep. You aren't going to be able to just plug any old 3.5 millimeter in there. So you're going to need this either way. It goes in and you screw it in. So not only do you need this to keep this part waterproof, but you also need it if you're going to plug in a 3.5 millimeter jack at all. Because it's not a regular 3.5 isn't going to reach down in here. Uh, I'm not too worried about that because mostly I use Bluetooth, but it is nice to have this. I'll unscrew this. And we'll put this piece back on to make it watertight and dustproof again. And I feel like my phone is, is very light. Now, I usually keep it in a Griffin Survivor case, which I've done a video unboxing also. I did one not too long ago. But it makes the phone bulky and heavy. This remains thin and light, and my phone still feels like if it were naked. Okay, so the, let's check out the, the big feature that drew me to this case, and that is the ability to use the Touch ID on my iPhone 5S. So let's see if it works. I'm going to press the home button, and I'll put my thumb on it and see if it unlocks. And it worked. Now, it took a couple of tries for it to register it, but I felt like I had to put my finger and push it down a little bit more and a little bit more deep. So that was an error on my fault, or on my end. So let's try it one more time to see if it works. So I press the home button, push my finger down in there. And there you go, it worked. Unlock the phone. All right, fantastic. Looks like this is gonna be my new case for a while. Oh, on the back here, you can see the Apple logo. The cutout for the Apple logo, very nice. And the camera is also protected, and also the dual flashes, so that's fantastic. Everything is covered, everything looks safe, the phone still feels light, and it feels like it's pretty solid, pretty protected. I think it's nerd approved. I am going to try this case out for a while and see how I like it. And as long as that fingerprint uh, Touch ID works, I'm a happy camper. So thank you guys for checking out my videos here at the teenerd.tv. If you like what we're doing, subscribe down below. If you have any questions or comments, you can do so down below as well. Also, if you get a chance, check out our website at teenerd.com and check out our podcasts. We do a lot of different um, uh, podcast shows uh, revolving around the universe of nerds. Spread the nerd. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Total Nerd Takeover. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for another great video.